Good morning, my friends. Um, did somebody say Black Friday sell? Rosamond Beauty did. So it's it's Feral Monday, and this J Cat Beauty pigment here. Let me swatch it. Well, you can kind of see it more on the lid. You see how it has a little bit of a blue flip. Oh, this is gonna be good. But I'm gonna show you a really fun graphic way to use it. All right, we're getting wild. We're gonna start with our milk this eye base right here. I love this one so much. I will say that you probably need less of it than you think. And also it needs to be evened out or we will have a splotchy chaos. But that goes for any eyeshadow base. We have to make sure that they're even across the lid. So let's not put this away just yet. So I have all my Kiko Milano stuff kind of organized but it was so well organized that it was put away and I didn't know where it went and I found it. So I have been missing these shadows. So we're gonna do a couple taps of this and we're gonna press this mainly into the socket just for a wash of color and to just, just ever so lightly blur my veins, just, just a hair. And then we're gonna do a graphic moment in just a second. So I'm trying something new in terms of skincare and I don't like it, I bought it myself. That's it peeling off of my face. No, not loving it. I'm about to show you what it is. And I've been using it long enough to know if I don't really love it. So let me grab it and let me show you. By the way, I don't want y'all to get confused. I wasn't talking about this shadow. I'm talking about something skincare. I'm the, ooh, I love these. That's chef's kiss. It's this stuff. It's famous. It's all over TikTok right now. It's that pink serum. I bought this the other day at Sephora because I've seen, you'll recognize it now. I've seen everybody use it. Everybody's talking about it. I've used it over a week and a half. And it's, it's a skin barrier serum. Um, it's soothing barrier support serum. And it's just not doing anything for me. And not only that, it's kind of peeling. There it is. It just kind of sits on my skin and peels off. So... It's not for me. It might be for you, but it's not for me. And I know some of you might say it might not layer well with other skincare. I don't normally ever have this problem, ever. Y'all see me on here day in, day out. Many, many moons now we have been hanging out together and you know that you don't normally see that with me. And um, no, not for me. I've tried it with, without, no matter what, it just, it does this. See that? That's not, it's not my skin. That's the serum. I guess we could have waited till Thursday, but in case any of y'all were wondering, yeah, I'm going through it with it. <laughs> so one of the reasons I love this eyeshadow base is because it doesn't dry down on your lid. What happens is it still feels very, very hydrating. And for our next step, it's going to be a lot easier than putting this on top of a very dry MAC paint pot. That's a really good example. Uh, MAC paint pots, they kind of pull. Uh, once they're dry, say I wanted to put this on top, which is what I'm about to do, I could have pulling. Um, this is still a very hydrated lid. It's a set lid. It's not going to crease, but it's a hydrated lid. And that's what we need to do this graphic situation that we're about to do. All right, so this is going to be really, really, really fun. It's going to look very intimidating. But once it gets covered, it's going to hide most of our mistakes. And there's ways to clean it. Let's relax our eye. And I like to not worry as much about the bottom part. The bottom part's the easier part to clean. So always think about that. And I'm just going to keep adding. And I want it a little bit thick. That way that pigment we're going to put on top really pops. Now let's just go ahead and connect and then we'll tidy up. We're just going to use the base as a liner. And then if you're wondering, hey, can I just use this as liner? No. <laughs> and the reason why is because it doesn't set. Um, you could set it, but then I feel like that would just take up more of your time. Don't, don't worry about it being messy. We're going to clean it up. But I do want you to use it like this and then put a pigment on top. It's gonna to be really, really fun. I'm actually kind of excited. So we're gonna grab jelly micellar water for this and it's gonna be so much easier. Okay, do you see that? Because look, look at that. 
it stays where you put it and that's exactly what we need. So we're gonna grab that on our C30 and we're just gonna go in here, start to really tidy up. Now I don't wanna make it much thinner, I really don't, but I do wanna make it really, 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 really sharp. Sheila is absolutely needed at this moment. Okay, let's just take that. And we can even take a small amount and sharpen it up here as well. As long as we keep it really close to the black. Just for fun, let's put some of this Kiko Milano liquid glitter. This is a glitter eyeliner, shade 01. Let's put some of that just in the center. It's for extra sparkle. It's not gonna change the color, it's just adding sparkle. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, look at that sparkle. Is this not fun? First, we're gonna take our E27. We're gonna pick this up on the brush. Just want it to be ever so slightly even, okay? And we're gonna take that and we're gonna push it into the black base because remember what I said? That black base isn't set. It doesn't dry down, which is good because it grabs and intensifies this type of pigment here, but it's bad alone. And then also, oh Lord, have mercy doing things. Um, the black, as we've learned, is going to transform this pigment. So we're gonna apply it all over the black first. And again, we're doing that with a small brush so we can really make sure that we're setting it. Makeup is so fun. Now we're gonna fill in this negative space with a little bit more of that milk base that rhymed. Mm -hmm. Okay. As always, just take our C31. Just make sure it's nice and smooth across here. It's not gonna mess up what we just did. So then we're gonna take some of the pigment, pick it up, and look at how different it looks on our naked skin than it does on top of that black base. Press it in, and then we can even take it up here. So fun. We're doing a half lash. These are from Libre Lashes. I forget what style the half lash is, but they only have one. I wanna say style number five, but like I said, there's only one style of half lash. All right, I thought of a fun way to kind of experiment at home without having to buy a contour shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my foundation on and then I'm gonna hop off and go film that. My favorite's back. That's all I've been using. Look, I'm throwing things. I'm so excited. This is my favorite foundation. It used to be in a square bottle, and if you've been with me, you remember it. And then what happened? Then they stopped making it. They didn't shut down, but they didn't restock it, and we all assumed it was being discontinued. Look at that match. Look at that coverage. And when I tell you, it feels like I just put on skincare. This one's more, this is a medium. I say this one's a light to medium full. It's not quite just intense coverage like the Kiko one, which I love as well. But I love the Kiko. I was saying I love the Kiko one, but it's very full coverage. This one isn't quite as full coverage and I would still consider this one an everyday foundation because of the way it wears and the way it feels. It just feels so different. And then, then again, it's just not completely just full coverage. Cover FX actually has another one that's even more full coverage than this one, and I'm just mentioning that one. That one I like, but I prefer the Kiko over that formula, but the one I'm mentioning is wild coverage. I'm talking, it's it's coverage. But this one is just nice coverage, more than your average, you know, just like a drugstore coverage, um, but more wearable every day instead of just super glam. Oh, I love this foundation so much. All right, let me go film my little contour situation. I hate saying the word hack because I don't do things here on my page that are just gimmicky, um, but I feel like hack doesn't have to be a gimmicky word. I feel like social media sometimes makes it a gimmicky word, but I mean, it is a hack. It's, it's easy, it's simple, you don't have to buy something, but hack doesn't always just mean for views. Remember that, especially not here on my, on, on, I say my, on our page, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean gimmicky. It just means even a way to kind of graduate to the next step, to learn something. 
Um, that's what we're all about here. We're just about helping and learning. All right, I will be right back. Look at how contoured that looks and I do not even have on contour. I cannot wait to post this video. So I was recording and I explained everything and then IG said no. That's literally what it said and it wouldn't load it. So I'm using this Rituel Defee concealer and the reason I scooped it out is because if I take my brush in here and I just dig it in there, um, I might overload that brush and then the brush, no matter what brush it is, um, definitely a not synthetic or natural hair, but it would just not perform the way that it's supposed to. So by scooping a little out and evening it on the skin, it's never a bad idea, no matter what, it's never a bad idea to do that. Look at how beautiful and blurring this concealer is. I'm gonna scoop out a little bit more and I'm gonna put some here on my forehead and then I'll scoop some more out and put some here, tiny amounts. That's actually not a tiny amount. There we go. Let's try out one of these shades of the P. Louise. I love how burnt they are. Ooh. Okay, let's go between these two. This one's still kind of classic. We're going to use them all eventually, but I'm trying to decide. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh, okay, I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to also kind of apply this first with my spatula. Oh, that's so pretty. This would be so pretty on so many skin tones. And you know what I like about this formula? I totally thought this formula was a gimmick. That's why I would never just not try something because who knows, but I just saw these all over TikTok. And anytime something has a sponge applicator, I just, mm, but I found out you can just rip that right off. But this formula is so well thought out and it makes me so happy. So let's go ahead and just melt this in. Don't be alarmed. I know you're alarmed, but don't be alarmed. I like to put on extra blush, okay? I'm not gonna show you how, I'll, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna let this run out and then I'll teach you why I do it this way and how I get it to go from this to where we're going. Now we're just gonna work on this side. So I have my concealer brush here, okay? See that? But what happens when you get wild like this is that you get the most beautiful transition. It's just all flowing together. It doesn't look like it's just blush stop. It looks so beautiful. And then we'll take it over this way. Look at that, okay? We're not even done. Now take your foundation brush, go from the top, and then just work in these sections. You don't have to lunge forward. Sometimes I do that when I'm teaching. <laughs> and then you have to remember, powder's still gonna go on top of this and blur and melt it even more. And if we leave it like this, our blush won't fade. And I can't stress enough that this is not the pink under eye. Not that I don't love that. I just don't want y'all to think that blush creeping up always equals that. There's ways to get blush back under control and not leave it just completely pink underneath the eye. Setting with our one size ultra pink powder. And now look at the blur, the transition. Flawless. So I wanna do the same thing to my waterline but we can't really put powder there, especially not with these contacts, but I found us something. But what I'm putting on right now, black eyeliner. Okay, just, just go to town, but we need to wait for it to completely dry down. Now, I don't see enough people talk about these. These are from Vanessa Myricks. I forget the exact name. I'm just, I'm gonna go get you a link. Watch this transform. Look at this. We're gonna put that on top of the black. It just transforms it and it matches our eye perfectly. Is that not so much fun? Endless possibilities with these. All right, let's just go ahead and do the same thing underneath here. Start with the Mario one. I need to find a pencil sharpener. For some reason, all of my pencil sharpeners have absolutely flew the coop. Coop cage is open and they have all, are you in an OFT? I'm gonna take an E26, and all I'm doing is making sure that this black is nice and blended into my lash line. You can really blend out a pencil liner like this really nicely as long as you're blending it before it sets, and they usually set within 30 to 60 seconds. And if you still haven't been able to master this inner corner wing, it's because you haven't used the E26. I'm never that blatant about the brushes, um, but this one, I'm gonna be blatant about it. 
just the way that it's shaped, the bend. Do you see this? Do you see how easy that is? Look, and now we have a sharp, precise, what do we call it? Front face wing. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's, that's incredible. It really is that easy with this brush. I'm gonna get you a link, Black Friday sale. Now let's grab this that I just linked for y'all. Hang on, doggy. I'll let you in just a second, and then we're just going to go on top. I think this color is going to be pretty. I love this formula, by the way. This is from Patrick Ta, but this is the lip cream. Ooh, yeah. And the shade that I'm going to be wearing is flushed. But let's find a lip liner to go with it. This is one of my favorite lip liners, but it's getting short. And y'all know how you keep them in cups? Some of y'all might know. But it's getting so short, I'm forgetting about it. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere else. But this is from NYX, so affordable. And the shade is Magic Maker. I kind of do a rough draft. And then I start to blend it. Then I grab a C30, nothing on it, and I will just start to clean up my lip line. So now I'm gonna pinch it and just do this a couple more times. I'm pinching it to make sure it's nice and sharp and to get off that product. And there you have it, look number one of the day. Isn't the blush pretty? And it matches the lips so perfectly. And then of course the eye is just, a, it's a, it's a Christmas ornament. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna go get a new ID picture. I was just informed on that. So if I'm MIA on Wednesday, I'll keep y'all updated, but. And then Thursday, of course, is our, and here in America, that's our Thanksgiving. And then I think I'm just gonna take Friday off as well and spend time with family. I'm really looking forward to that. But I'll be here tomorrow for sure. And then I'm going to try my best. I'll just come back and hang out with you. In fact, I have a lot of things that I've been trying and a lot of new things I love. And then I have a few things that I'm not enjoying. So I think maybe we'll just move that to Wednesday. All right. I love y'all so much. And I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I think I might just do like a classic um, holiday Thanksgiving. I know not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving, but it's still a very fall cozy glam. And I thought that we would do that. I'm looking forward to that. All right. I love you all so much. I love you with all of my heart. I don't know what I'm posting tonight, but I'm definitely posting and I'll see you there.